Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday to you all. Okay, I do have a word of the day I'd like to share with everyone, and today's word of the day is adept. Adept is an adjective or a noun. Very skilled, proficient, expert, an adept juggler, a skilled, proficient person, an expert. After weeks of training, Andrew became adept at shaping the molten glass into figurines. Synonyms are proficient, qualified and skilled. And my thought of the day is kindness, like a boomerang, always return. So if you give kindness, you'll get kindness in return. Okay, open house was really nice, very successful for kindergarten first and second um, last night. And tonight is third, fourth and fifth. So very excited for that. So don't forget about open house. Uh, you should have the video with the superintendent's message, and there's something you can share called ch uh, chat empty CPS. It's a way for parents uh, to sign up, and they can get text messages and a communication with Miami-Dade County Public Schools. Okay, so it is Throwback Thursday. Oh, before I get to Throwback Thursday, one more thing. Um, don't forget that September is Library Card Sign Up Month. Uh, so the, the public library is such an amazing place. You can actually check out laptops from the public library. You can use the computers in the public library. You can get books from the public library. There's tutoring at the public library. Uh, there's games. There's lots of really cool programming at the public library. And last night at Open House, there were people um, representing the public library there from, with information. And they will be there again tonight. So if you have um, any questions and you can sign up for library cards and it's super exciting. Okay, so it is Throwback Thursday and that means I have a presentation from Joshua. So I'm gonna throw it over to him. Hey, as it turned a lot of ways, it's me, Joshua. And I'm filming another video for Throwback Thursday. I honestly don't know which video what number of video this is, but I'm probably going to be showing one of the oldest items that I own and one of the oldest items that may be on this show. And I also have one of the future items in our background. You'll learn more about that later. And I am a coin collector, and this is one of the oldest coins I own. This is in 1892 Morgan silver dollar. This is made of silver and you take a look. Oh, oh my light is too light. It says 
one dollar in it and i don't know if it might be mirrored for viewers and it also says 1892. this coin will continue going up in value because it's made of silver and honestly i'm just gonna wait until like 10 years till it's worth maybe like more than 300 dollars to sell it who knows so then this is another extremely old coin that i own from 1895 and it's a quarter this quarter is extremely worn down as you can see there is barely any facial features left and here's the back you can barely even see any of the features on the back like the eagle can't see much and here's another one i own two of these coins this is from 1903 and this is a dime it's, it's extremely small about the size of my thumbnail and it's in quite good condition and this was the condition that i actually bought it in surprisingly the coin that's older than this coin which is surprisingly in worse condition than the coin that's older than it this coin is from 1915 and it's also dime and here we go our last coin for today a buffalo nickel from 1929 this may be one of the heaviest worn down coins i've ever seen you can barely tell the date which is right there it says 1929 but it's quite difficult to see and on the back there's a buffalo. And if you're wondering, this coin is so worth about $8. And the other coins I showed you, except the Morgan silver dollar, will also keep going up in value. You know, show you. I'll show you one more because I'm such because I'm so kind. If I can find it. Oh, here we go. So this isn't really super old, but it's from 1980. And this is a clad dime. See how extremely shiny the outer part is? I have this coin for free because the coin is the man at the coin shop is being quite nice. And this will also keep going up in value. So coin collecting is one of my favorite things to do. And I'm really glad that I got to show it all with you. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you, Joshua. That was awesome. And I learned a lot about coins. Um, an interesting thing is that, um, my dad was a big coin collector and he had some really interesting, neat coins. Um, okay. Just have one grade book announcement. Uh, please make sure go to your grade book grid, click on options. If you want the hundred point scale, make sure that, um, it says a hundred points. Um, in every one of your classes in the template. Uh, very, very important. Otherwise, the grades are not going to be right, right? And if you're doing A, B, C, D at the four point, make sure it says four point. So please do that. Make sure that it is correct um, in your grade book because uh, otherwise your grades are not going to be correct. So make sure, go to options, look in the template and make sure it's the one you want. If you're doing A, B, C, D or an F, then it's four point. And if you're doing uh, percentages, then it's going to be a hundred point. So make sure that it is correct. Um, very important. That is all my announcements. And I hope that everybody has a fantastic day. Thank you for watching WEXP News. Have fun exploring today.